I made a video recently about combining Siri with ChatGPT. I'll link to that in the description of this video. But recently, I've also been playing around with Bard by Google. And so with both AI chatbot options available to the public, I thought it might be interesting to see how they compare. So in this video, I'm going to test both of them with some different commands to get a feel for what's similar and different about them. Stick with me until the end of this video if you're interested in seeing how the latest artificial intelligence tools perform. I think you might be quite surprised by some of the results we get back. Okay, let's get into it. Very quickly before we start the video in full, accessing these chatbots. For ChatGPT, you're going to use your browser to navigate to chat.openai.com. You're then going to need to log in. I've got two accounts. I've got a free account, which is the one that I used in my recent video about combining ChatGPT with Siri. I do also have a paid account. I'm gonna be using the paid account today because it guarantees me access, but the free account will also work. You just might not always be able to gain access if the service is busy. For Bard, you're going to go to bard.google.com and log in using your Google ID. You may have to join a waiting list to get access. I had to initially, although I had access within a couple of days. Both of these chatbots operate within your browser, so it doesn't matter if you're using your phone or your computer or tablet, or if it's a Mac, iPhone, Android, or Windows PC, anything will do. Oh, and last thing before we start, I'm gonna keep the examples in this video restricted to question and answer tests. I'm not gonna throw code at either of the chatbots. ChatGPT can create code, Bard can't, so there's really no point in running that particular test. So I guess the first question to be answered is, what are both of these tools? And in the interest of fairness, I thought I'd let the tools themselves answer that question. So ChatGPT first. You can see that when asked the question, what are you? ChatGPT responds by saying the following. I am an AI language model called ChatGPT developed by OpenAI. I'm designed to understand natural language, respond to questions and generate text in a conversational manner. My purpose is to assist and provide information to users through text-based interactions. Likewise, Google Bard, when asked the same question, said the following. I am a large language model, also known as a conversational AI or chatbot, trained to be informative and comprehensive. I'm trained on a massive amount of text data and I'm able to communicate and generate human-like text in response to a wide range of prompts and questions. For example, I can provide summaries of factual topics or create stories. So you can see that on the surface at least, both of these tools are pretty similar, although we'll dig deeper into that in just a moment. Next up, another important question to ask both of the chatbots. I wanna know how recent and up-to-date their knowledge is. So again, I'm gonna ask both of them. ChatGPT first will ask, how recent and up-to-date is your knowledge? And then I'll repeat that same question to Bard. So you can see that in theory, at least Bard wins in terms of the relevance of its knowledge, with it seemingly claiming to be totally up-to-date on current news. Let's put that to the test right away. I'm gonna ask both of the chatbots who the current leader of the SNP, the Scottish National Party is, because a new leader was voted in for them a few hours ago as I'm writing the script and capturing footage for this video. You can see that when I do this, ChatGPT is very open about the fact that it may not know the current answer, and then it does indeed get the answer wrong. Whereas Google Bard confidently announces that it's Nicola Sturgeon, which of course it currently is not. Now you could give Bard some leeway here, as Hamza Youssef has been voted in today, but not formally announced yet, although you'd have thought that Bard might have mentioned that in its answer. So let's try something else that's quite recent. Let's try something that's a bit easier. If I ask both chatbots who the current Conservative Party leader is here in the UK, you can see that again, ChatGPT is open about the fact that it won't be able to give me an up-to-date answer, and it instead gives me a historically correct answer. Bard gets this one spot on. So ChatGPT is open about the fact that it can't tell me anything post September 2021, whereas Bard gets some recent information correct, but not others. Let's try one that's much more recent, but more than a few days old. Nick Lloyd Webber, the son of Andrew Lloyd Webber, very sadly passed away at the weekend. So let's see if the chatbots know about this. I already know that ChatGPT won't, but in the interest of fairness, let's ask it. So you can see that when I ask it to tell me about him, ChatGPT gives me lots of good information, but is of course unaware of his recent passing. 
Let's try Bard, same question. Bard knows that he passed away at the weekend. I'm recording these screen captures on the 27th of March. He passed away on March 25th. So that gives you some idea of how up-to-date Bard is able to be. It even shows you that in this instance, it's pulling data from Wikipedia to be able to present that information. Okay, so we've established what the two services are and we now have a good idea of their respective knowledge cutoff dates. Let's have a play and see what they can do. Clearly, one of the main benefits of using AI tools like this is to aid in creative work. So I'm gonna ask both of them to have a go at drafting a few creative ideas for me. Also, just so you're aware, I'll likely be speeding up some of the answers in post-production. So just keep that in mind if my chatbots seem to answer things quicker than yours. First up, let's try getting some YouTube titles for this video. I'll ask ChatGPT first, write me 10 YouTube video titles for a video about comparing ChatGPT with Google Bard. Make them punchy and use language that will make people want to click on the video. So I've put the request now into both chatbots and both have come back with answers, which I'll show on screen now. You can see that in general, ChatGPT does a much better job here in my opinion as Bard has basically created the same formula 10 times. And whilst all 10 titles are different, the creativity is, in my opinion, definitely much better on the chat GPT side of things. Let's try something else creative. I'm gonna ask both to give me 10 witty names for a new dental practice and see what they both come back with. This should be a bit more challenging because wit is a distinctly human behavior, and I'm keen to see how these chatbots can replicate it. Again, you can see that chat GPT seems to be better at this. Wit is of course subjective, and it's pretty difficult for a chatbot to understand the nuances of what makes something witty and then use that creatively, but ChatGPT has done a pretty good job. Bard hasn't done anywhere near as well, in my opinion, but here's an interesting function of Bard. You notice this view other drafts button. I can tap on that and you can see that Bard actually has a few attempts at each answer and then picks what it thinks is the most suitable. I actually think looking at these that the other answers are better. So perhaps it's more a case of Google tweaking how effectively Bard chooses from its own responses rather than it necessarily getting better at the answers. By the way, if you prefer to have content like this in a written format, there's a PDF to accompany this video and you can access it by joining my membership program where for a small monthly fee, you'll get access to all video PDFs moving forward plus the growing library of old ones. Just follow the link in the description of this video that says become a channel member. So something else that these chatbots are supposed to be good at is explaining things in a simple manner. So let's ask both to explain what a black hole is, but to do so as though I'm five years old. It's clear that ChatGPT wins this one with both language that's more suited to a five-year-old and understanding the assignment using terms and analogies that a five-year-old might be able to understand. Bard essentially disregarded me asking for it to make the answer simple and hit me with the full-on scientific answer. Either that or it genuinely thinks that most five-year-olds understand the concept of mass. So a win for ChatGPT here. We know that ChatGPT has been in the news lately as a tool for people to cheat on their homework with. So let's do just that. Let's have both of the chatbots write a 500 word article about the Spanish Inquisition for us. Now, I'm no expert, so don't ask me how accurate these are, but both chatbots have come back with convincing looking reports, so that's good. ChatGPT has a word count of around 580 words, so if I was hoping for something I could pass off as my own right away, this would need some editing to cut that number down, whereas Bard comes in at 450 words, so it is closer. Although interestingly, according to the plagiarism check that I've used, ChatGPT is 100% original, while Bard does appear to have copied 4% of its content. Something else that these chatbots are supposed to be good at is in the style of writing. So let's try asking both of them to write a YouTube video script about Wi-Fi 6E, but in the style of Linus Tech Tips. Both chatbots have produced very passable scripts, even if Bard is on the shorter side, although I'm struggling to see how the Bard script is really in the style of Linus Tech Tips. The ChatGPT script, on the other hand, is good. Again, I'm not sure how in the style of I think this one is, but it's good, definitely the better one out of the two. By the way, if you're enjoying the content here, why not consider signing up to my newsletter, The Proper Weekly? I include some tech news from the week, a behind the scenes of what's happening here on the channel, as well as a tip for an item in the Apple ecosystem. The newsletter goes out each Friday, it's free to join, and I'll include a sign up link in the description of this video. Let's try a general question, but I'll include a few caveats to make it more difficult. 
I'm going to ask both chatbots to write 20 questions for a pub quiz, where the topic should be pop music from 1990 to 1992, and that the questions need to be difficult, and that they need to include the answer after each question. So you can see that both chatbots have done a pretty good job at the requirements, but again, we see a pattern with Bard, which is that it seems to be a sucker for a pattern. Every question begins with which song by, and while many of the ChatGPT questions are also focused around identifying the song, there is at least some variation both in terms of the question and the way that the question is asked. One thing I wanted to test both chatbots with was a question where the answer could have negative implications if the chatbots got the answer wrong, and to see how it would handle that. So I asked both for some medical advice, saying, I've had a painful throat for around three weeks now, what do you think it is? You can see the real difference in the answers. I'd read somewhere that Bard is typically the more conservative of the two, if it either doesn't know an answer or is cautious of providing an incorrect answer, but in this instance, that hasn't been the case. Whilst both chatbots do recommend seeing a healthcare specialist, which honestly is the answer I'd want both of them to give, ChatGPT kind of says that and nothing more, whilst Bard mentions that you should see a doctor, but not until after it's suggested everything from a viral infection to thyroid issues. For the final test, I wanted to see if both chatbots could suggest a viable method of me making some cash. And so inspired by that, I thought I'd ask both chatbots to write me a plan for how to make £100,000 by September of this year, operating entirely from the confines of my office and using my computer only. Here's what they both came up with. You can see that both chatbots are, I guess, understandably quite vague, with both providing quite hypothetical, why don't you try this suggestions rather than anything solid but out of the two, I prefer Bard. What do you think? So Bard is clearly limited in that it can't really do code, according to Google's FAQs at least, and it certainly seems to take on more of a search engine approach to a lot of the examples here versus the more creative approach that ChatGPT seems to take. Essentially, for me at least, ChatGPT seems the most artificial intelligence-esque of the two right now, with one obvious advantage for Bard, which is that it can work with very recent knowledge and data, and that makes it quite exciting to me. I wouldn't necessarily rely on it unquestionably, but then that's good practice regardless of where you get your information from. But I can see a situation where I might need to quickly find a statistic for a video, for example, and find that asking Bard might be quicker than trying to search it on Google. For creative work, I'll probably be sticking with ChatGPT, for now at least. Oh, and Apple, come on guys, your move, seriously. So there you go, some examples of how ChatGPT and Bard compare. What do you think? What other tests should we have run here? Any you'd like to see in a future video? Drop me a comment and let me know. And as ever, if you found this video useful, do please consider leaving me a like and subscribing to my channel for more content like this in the future. See you on the next video.